Okay, so in this tutorial here, I'm just going to kind of move forward and move on to the uh, the chin area. But there's something that I just want to kind of point out at this stage. I mean, if we look on our front view here, and we press Alt to Next, you know, the nose lines up okay, but I don't think our face is placed in the right area. You know, it's not quite in the middle. So I'm just going to hold Control and select everything. I'm just going to move it aside a little bit so that it's kind of lined up so the nose is lined up because that's kind of the central figure in on our on our kind of um, on our subject and then even though the nose is lined up and the eyes seem to be okay you know they, they're lined up as well kind of see how the cheekbone is sticking out here and on the other side it's not I think that's because her face is at a slight angle um, either that or it could be that one cheekbone is slightly bigger than the other quite possible like I've mentioned before, everyone's face is different. Um, so I'm going to kind of have to wing it a little bit in terms of cheekbone. I could kind of just select this area just here, which is just here on this side. You can see that it's highlighted too. And just drag that out slightly. So it adds a bit of volume on that kind of cheekbone area. And then again, like I've mentioned before, I can have a play and I can kind of mess around with that later. So let's move on to our cheek area. Now before I kind of move on to that, there's a couple of things which I do want to kind of focus on and ensure that they do look right. And that's kind of this sort of cheek area here because you can see here there's kind of over overlapping um, points just there and if I rotate from the bottom you can see how you know this area here is just way too too far in it's been pulled in way too much so I could just select that whole area and just pull that forward Or I can kind of pull this area back a little bit more. Keep pressing that Windows button. Hmm. Anyway, so I could pull this back a little as well. And uh, what that would kind of do is just move out that kind of curve. But what I want to do at this stage is actually just pull these points back a little bit. Yeah, so you're just going to kind of pull that back, pull these back as well, and pull this back, just like that. So there's a bit more space in this area now, you know, it looks a lot better. And I'm actually just going to pull that area forward as well, so if I zoom in, just that area, that really, really tight kind of middle area of the lips have just pulled forward as well so that's lining up a lot better and now I can kind of happily move on to the um, the kind of cheek uh, area and then go on to the, the chin so from here I'm going to kind of do it as quick as possible I guess I'm just going to speed through it because I don't really need to spend too too long on this area of her face I'm finding that there's certain areas that you know I haven't quite done right, so I'm just gonna have to pull them back a little bit, like so. This area too, that can be pulled back slightly. It's looking a little better. Okay, um, so yeah, let's have a look. Let's see what, what I can do now. So I'm just going to go on to select these areas just here. Shift and drag down. I 
and you know these kind of do want to kind of flow down and they want to come kind of straight as well and they're going to kind of continue on underneath the chin so a few of them you just want to curve a little bit you want to target weld a few as well so just target weld this point to there like so and then again like I said just a gradual change of angle not sure how many times times I've said that throughout, throughout these tutorials but you know it, it is an important kind of factor uh, and just here at the back I'm just going to pull it forward slightly because you, know, you want to create this kind of curve just here I could possibly kind of just stretch these out a little more because in this area of, of the face there's because it's kind of cheek um, you can kind of afford to give the polys bigger space we don't need to have the polys too close together something like that should be okay I reckon that's it so I'm just going to save so now if I just kind of create selected sort of chin area here so I'm going to select all of the edges that are running down like that and I'm going to shift and drag just to follow the shape of the chin like so just one more there so you can see straight away that we've added that kind of chin area there um, it does look a little odd in certain areas so what you can do is kind of pull pull it back a little so the angles are not so harsh you know that's a really kind of important factor that you're kind of looking into these small details And like I keep saying, you want to kind of make sure that the angle is changing um, as you're going along too. So you're kind of changing this angle constantly. Yeah, so you just want to follow that on like so. And the same here as well, just going to pull that out slightly, just like that. Can you see, see what I've done there? And then what, what you do here is, you know, you could target weld that onto there, could quite possibly do that, you know, because we want to kind of pull these in anyway, like so. So, you know, let's let's give that a go, let's see what that actually looks like target weld that onto there and then just kind of pull this up slightly so it's in between so that doesn't look too bad that looks okay that works and then all you'd need to do here is just kind of spread these out a little more ensuring that you're kind of pulling it in like that And then from here, I'd kind of just go to, oh, sorry about that. Just kind of go down and target weld. And you know, start changing the angles of some of these, like I keep saying. Yeah. So, again, in the next tutorial, I will uh, continue with this.